So in electrical engineering department, we have Ganesh, Chirag and Anish to keep light to electrical engineering at IIT Tirupati and also give many answer regarding IIT Tirupati. So here we go now. So first question I want to ask uh, from you guys that why you have chosen IIT Tirupati and particularly electrical branches? Uh, I have been interested by electrical stuff since my childhood. So like I wanted to pursue electrical engineering. Uh, according to my JE advanced rank, I, the best IIT I was getting with an electrical branch was IIT Tirupati. So I took it. Uh, I... <laughs> I got the best electrical in the advanced rank. So just give a brief description about electrical engineering, what it is and what are the future prospects of electrical engineering and why one should opt for electrical engineering. Okay, hello everyone. So first of all, uh, congratulations for everyone who have cleared this uh, one of the toughest exams of our career that is JE Advance. And I know everyone will be equally excited at the same time it'll be equally tense about which college will be getting which branch i mean everyone will be in a, uh, going through this dilemma so even i when i wrote my j advance in 2020 the covid <laughs> year so yeah so we were all i also went to the same place uh, okay so looking at the name you might have a confusion that uh, uh, because electrical engineering so we'll be dealing only with uh, the wirings and all so it's so let me give a clear description about it um only the, okay, in the names it says like electrical engineering but uh, throughout this four years of btech um, we'll be covering almost all the aspects of electrical engineering like electrics electronics um, that is you're making of your circuit boards and all the semiconductors which you have learned in your uh, second year and also some part of communication so it'll be a promising course and also it will promise you that most of the uh, course of what you will be needing for your companies, that is for your placements or internships or your upcoming jobs, which you'll be applying for. So in the end, you won't repent that, um, okay, I haven't covered this field or I haven't covered this, the basics of this course for my job. So you, I'm pretty sure you won't uh, regret that, okay, I haven't, okay, this course wasn't completed. Why did I choose this course? So this I'm pretty sure you won't get this topic or you won't feel this question in your life. Okay, let, uh, let the viewers know about the core electrical field who want to make their career in electrical engineering. And uh, also uh, about the scope of electrical in IIT Tirupati. How? Uh, electrical engineering includes various fields like uh, control system, power, power systems, uh, microelectronics, VLSI and all those things. So, so uh, there are the uh, electrical branch is a very wide branch. So you can select one of your interests and uh, develop your skills regarding that thing. Uh, and also considering uh, current scenario, there is going to be a boom in uh, VLSI designs and uh, uh, microprocessors. Uh, since India is trying to indigenously develop many processors, so uh, electrical engineering has a good scope. Uh, okay, so in which domain you guys want to make a career that is electrical or uh, the hype domain that is uh, IT sector? मैं तो आईटी सेक्टर में ही जाना चाहूँगा क्योंकि इंडस्ट्री मेरा गेम डेवलपमेंट में है तो वहीं पे कोर कंपनीज में नहीं जाऊँगा। Okay, so your interest lies in game development. Have you developed any game? Yes, three games I developed. For... Oh my God, three games! You have launched it in uh, Play Store as well, I think. Yes. Okay. So th then, why you opted for electrical? Why not CS? You might be getting CS in uh, other IITs or old NITs. I getting CS in uh, most of the NITs and uh, in IIT Jammu also. Or NIT chhodne ka reason hai IIT ka tag bus. So obviously IIT tag matters <laughs> in future as well. Yeah. Okay. Now next uh, question I want to ask that uh, if someone is getting option for old NITs and 3G IITs, so what should they opt? Like uh, you can explain it in uh, the case of different branches from for the perspective for higher branches as well and for the lower branches as well most probably go for your interest if you are getting CSE in NIT top NIT and getting electrical and other branches in third generation NIT I think go for NITs but if you want tag and uh, this tag yeah <laughs> this tag if you want this tag just come in IIT and I still recommend to come in IIT because IIT environment is 
far better than NITs. So, how much you are satisfied uh, with uh, your branch at IIT Tirupati, and do you like IIT Tirupati as a college, uh, third generation IIT? मेरे कुछ दोस्त हैं प्राइवेट कॉलेज में तो उन पे जैसे बहुत प्रेशर होता है उनके सीनियर सर वगैरह मतलब देखे हैं और उसके हिसाब से आईआईटी का बहुत अच्छा है मतलब यहाँ के सीनियर्स हो गए यहाँ का एनवायरनमेंट हो गया यहाँ पे एक कंपटीशन रहता है तो फिर मतलब बहुत सही है ये yeah iit system is completely different and uh, it provides a lot of opportunities for exploring different directions like uh, entrepreneurships and th- different things are there irrespective and internships and internships also in iits it's compulsory to have uh, paid internships whereas in other in your know, private institutions they might have free internships yeah. and you have to pay for them aha uh-huh. you have to pay for it so uh, now i want to ask that uh, uh, in electrical engineering department what's the trend of internship which companies comes and uh, do from electrical engineering departments uh, our seniors got placed in other department is it possible like uh, in it jobs cs jobs uh, and uh, is it possible to get internships in cs field from electrical department if one wants to go for that so that's a really good question meher so okay uh, so one question i would like to tell and one i mean one suggestion i would like to tell you all so people i mean many of us we have this myth in our mind that if you don't get a cs branch then you won't get proper jobs guys one thing i would like to tell you there's nothing like that see whatever field you are in whatever branch in the end it depends completely on your skill and whatever you have learned in the course so be it ir- irrespective of any of the branches the only thing is um, when it comes to cs you'll be getting into some companies you'll be on software or something in whereas coming to other branches you'll be working on on uh, the fields whatever you have learned in your branch it does but that doesn't mean like uh, now suppose if you are in electrical engineering then you are not allowed to learn cs there's nothing like that so you can still do coding uh, you can still learn your programming okay not only electrical but if you even if you are in mechanical engineering or if you are in civil engineering or if you are in chemical engineering you can still practice your um, programming suppose if you have your leisure time you can do at least like one hour of programming each day or one and a, one hour of each day so that uh, even if you are uh, not in cs uh, if you are not in cs also you can there is a chance that you can go to a job which is cs or it related you can still have that opportunity to go there yeah it's totally depend on your uh, skills and uh, exactly your uh, dream whatever you want yes. to choose for <laughs> so, so iit has a great environment uh, it provides uh, you exposure to different field and uh, give insight of different field as well so that you can uh, make your career in different field it uh, a lot of oppor- opportunities are there even uh, we know that our some seniors from cse department also are working for uh, some startups and some sort of kind of things you can become entrepreneur you can do mba and uh, make your career in uh, management as well for management for mba branch does not matter to that extent uh, but gp matters <laughs> <laughs> and uh, give a light to the placement uh, of iit tirupati of per, uh, particular your branches and overall average placement as well so last time csc average package is 24 lakh which is the highest package <laughs> in electrical department <laughs> <laughs> and the highest package in csc is 69 lakh and electrical 24 lakh and civil mechanical 30 30 lakh okay uh what do you think that uh, how uh, is it tough to go for it jobs for a uh, non it non cs students is it tough no it is not tough uh, if you are good in coding and i think agar tum log 3 saal coding mein acha practice karoge to mere ko nahi lagta ki koi bhi it job na le pae matlab what uh, last message you want to give to the Uh, freshers and uh, how much do you recommend freshers to come to the iit tirupati 
yeah i recommend everyone uh, every fresher to come to iit tirupati because uh, here uh, the infrastructure current like they are developing the infrastructure and it's pretty good uh, it's more greener than many of the iits uh, and it provides a very good uh, opportunities to the people here since there are many clubs which are just budding so you could be the part of a, a budding club and uh, put your efforts into it also the seniors are very supportive here so they will try to help you in every scenario you are in and i would like to give big thanks for meher and prince for the part of this video because um when everyone will be busy in their schedules you guys took your time and you're working to work for your upcoming batches so that's i really appreciate your work guys keep it up and keep guiding your juniors the same way thank you sir क्वेश्चन क्या था ही हैज अरे इंग्लिश